Once every 30 years or so, a moment of joy for William and Catherine and for those who are so minded in Britain and the 15 other countries of which the British King or Queen is head of state, a reason to celebrate. For us there, our correspondent Susanna Madonza is at St Mary's Hospital in West London right now. Uh, Susanna, we've been saying the great Kate Wait, as people call it, is over, but of course it's not. There's still the first picture, the name, and so media are still waiting, not just you. Indeed, there's so much more still to know and the world's media is still stood out here. It might be four o'clock in the morning in London, but the world never sleeps. And so there are TV networks from Japan, from the US, from Australia, still here reporting throughout the night. And what we do know is that at some point, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their newborn baby will walk down those steps behind me. Unlikely, of course, to be overnight. We expect that to be in daylight hours, but we don't know when it will be or indeed if it will be tomorrow, but we're hoping it will be tomorrow. And then, of course, the question of the name of that little baby boy. There are lots of odds out there for what the boy could be called. Names like George and James have been suggested by the bookies, but indeed we do not know. And uh, it could be a long time before we find out because royal tradition is to keep the media waiting. When Prince William was born, it was a week before we found out his name and Prince Charles, it was a month. So it could be some time still. And Susanna, when the parents talk to their son about what it was like on the day he was born, there'll be much talk, I guess, of the hottest day of the year. I think the hottest day in some parts of the UK for seven years. But then the weather all got much more traditionally British, hence your umbrella. Indeed, you see my brolly here. That is because just a few moments ago there was an intense thunderstorm here outside the hospital. It was the hottest day of the year, as you say, but this evening it has been uh, one of the wettest that I've seen in some time. And certainly if the uh, Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are inside that hospital looking out of the window right now, they perhaps may chuckle at the journalists who are getting rather wet out here. So certainly a memorable day and dramatic weather for a dramatic event. And memorable too, I think it's the first time since 1894, the British royal family has had three heirs to the throne. Indeed, and it's very important that this child will, of course, be somebody who is third in line to the throne. He may one day be the king of this country, and that is indeed why so many people are interested in this story. Of course, we have Commonwealth countries around the world where people are interested in, in who potentially could be the next monarch, and so uh, intense interest here. And I think it's quite notable that it's not just interest from us and the media and from dignitaries who've been uh, congratulating the couple, but also from the common people as it were. I've been speaking to some people who are just camped out just around the corner with their Union Jack tents and flags ready to uh, see the royal baby and catch that first glimpse of the royal baby when he does come out of those doors. One man told me he'd been here 12 days camping outside this hospital. So, you know, that's dedication, isn't it? Susanna, thank you very much. Now, for the first time in British history, recent changes in the law meant it made no difference to the success.